right, so the police seem to think that you helped break Johnny's car out of here, but that really doesn't make any sense to me. I can't tell you anything. The police found, uh, found the mayor's car in the factory district, but there's no sign of Johnny or Lulu. I'm here as a concerned brother, okay? You helped Emily when, when Xander took her. You went after them and, and, and you helped your little sister. Now I'm asking you to help mine. I mean, you, you would have done anything for Emily, right? Okay. So for Emily's sake, if, if you know anything about what happened, please just tell me. Jason, I'm not here on behalf of the police. All I care about is Lulu. Whatever, whatever you tell me right now, I swear, I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't help you. All right, well, can you at least tell me, what about the gun? What do you know about the gun? How, do you know how he may have gotten it? No, I don't. He didn't get it from you? No, he didn't. No, he didn't get the gun from me. Okay, well, you, you came in here to speak with Johnny, right? Is that right? Yes, I came in here to speak with Johnny. Lulu was already in here with him. Do you honestly believe that she would smuggle a gun in here? Yeah. I do. Where else is she going to get a gun from? I mean, I hear that Lulu has been near hysterics because she's so upset about Johnny being arrested. Well, she did bring in here. He put her up to it and then turned on well, her. Well, he did drag her out of here at gunpoint. But the problem is, I don't think Lulu's a hostage. That makes her an accomplice. And that puts her in even more danger. Right. So you saw everything. You saw Johnny drag Lulu out of here? He's... I saw it all. Lulu was terrified. That's why I, I don't think it was planned. Well, if it wasn't, that, that means that they don't have an escape route, right? It's, it's, they're going to get caught eventually. Yeah, possibly. Do you think the police have enough on Lulu to charge her as an accomplice? I, I don't know what the cops have. But the longer Lulu's out there, the more danger she's in. <sighs> Do you think he would ever hurt her? No. I don't, but these idiots have orders to use deadly force. Right. If Lulu's in the wrong place at the wrong time, Mm -hmm. All right. I appreciate your help. Thanks. Look, I gotta admit, I was astonished to find out that you, of all people, helped Johnny and Lulu escape. I mean, it does occur to me that you're trying to broker a truce between uh, yourself and my employer. <laughs> After all, you did try to burn Anthony's house to the ground. So if you were afraid of retaliation, it was a smart move, Jason. But you botched the whole thing. Okay, now Johnny is in more danger than ever, and so is Lulu. Should I call for a guard? I'm just trying to help, Jason. You want to help? Get out. I could sit here as long as you can. I got nothing else to do. I'm inclined to think Lulu brought John that gun. You know, hysterical girl, not thinking clearly, and her brother's a cop, so nobody bothered to search her. Now, the only person who could have arranged for that gun is you. <laughs> Maybe you were trying to get on my good side, you know, help my son escape to make amends for burning my house to the ground. Don't know what you're talking about. Listen. If John dies, I'll have nothing to lose. I'll kill you first, and then I will bring a reign of chaos and terror on this town, the likes of which no one has ever seen. So I suggest you put your people to work, Mr. Morgan, and make damn sure my son comes home safe. I want Spinelli to help me find my brother, but he won't touch his keyboard without your permission, so... I'm asking you, Jason. Help me find John. You don't need Spinelli. You know that Johnny is gonna contact you soon. When he does, you just let me know. I may be able to work something out. Okay, I I'll tell you when he calls. I'll tell you if you promise me... Promise me that you'll help him.